Hi, my name is Jacob Akoski, and I am a support engineer here at Go Engineer. And today we're going to learn how to create this shelf easily using the 3D grid system. Okay. In order to begin, we're going to start a new part. Since this is a multi body design, <clears throat> insert, reference geometry, 3D grid system. And notice that it builds an alphanumeric grid. Um, this is going to be good for defining where we are in our 3D coordinate system. So I'm going to define the overall geometry. I know I want 180 inches by 120 inches. And I'm going to use a linear sketch pattern here to drive the rest. So entities to pattern, I'm going to pattern this edge along the X and oops, oops, four. I'm going to have 60 inches spaced with four instances. Excellent. Notice that my grid automatically updates. So my vertical members have created um, a new, a new, two new uh, grids in the alphabet. So A, B, C, and D. Now I'm going to go horizontally, and it'll create numerical. I need to make the cross member in a center. So let's do that. Snap to my midpoints, and notice that my grid automatically updates. So now. Now that I have my defining grid, I'm going to exit my 3D sketch, and the 3D grid system property manager appears. This allows me to specify the number of levels that I'm going to have in my shelf. So I'm going to have the height of the first one at 60 inches. I'd like the second one at 100. And I want to add another level here, a fourth level, and I want that to be 120 inches high. Hit OK. And notice that my grid automatically populates, but I need the members going down. No worries. That's already been defined for us. This 3D grid, we just uh, open the chevron here, and that opens our display manager. And I'm going to show this 3D grid. And notice that my members populate. So I have this 3D grid defined here. And let's take a look at this right now. Um, it's already created planes for each of my levels and each of the sketches that derive that uh, build up from the base are derived are derived sketches which means that they automatically update with the parent sketch I also have in here uh, surface bodies each one of these planes creates its own surface here in the grid system so now that we've figured, and now and this and the bottom geometry is defined here in sketch two. So now let's build the shelf. So now that I have my grid defined, I'm going to start adding structural members to this. So I know that I want three by three by quarter square two for my shelf members. So I'm going to begin by adding those members in. Uh, and I can add all the members of the X direction, normal to the X direction groups in one group uh, just by selecting lines. Now I know that in the same 3x3 three three, I'm going to have it in the normal to the Z direction. I'm going to create a new group for that and I'm going to select my lines. And notice that it already populates my joint groups and my weldments appear on my 3D sketch. Hit the green check, accept the changes. 
Okay, now I need to make the members that are going to go and hold this up. So, I'm going to add another structural member, 4x4, four four, and I'm just going to select these vertical members and create a new group for each of the vertical beams here. Remember that our 3D sketch from the grid system are automatically created this for us when we created the levels. Excellent. And now I can go here, hide my sketches, and voila, we have a 3D grid. We have our shelf base members defined. So now that we've created a shelf with the 3D grid, we're going to use it to create another, some more complicated geometry, a sweep this time. So we're going to start by making a new part. <clears throat> Same technique. I'm going to go to insert, reference geometry, 3D grid system. But instead, this time, I'm going to use a polygon as my defining member. I'm going to make this member here horizontal. And you'll notice that our numerical grid starts to appear. I'm going to define the size of one of these sides, 75 millimeters. And the sketch is now fully defined at the base. Let's make the different levels now. I want to make five level grid and I'm going to specify a, a different height at each. So 200, 400, 600, and 800 respectively. Hit the green check and all my levels appear. Notice that I still have the same grid. My grid still creates a new sketch derived on another level um, from the base. I still have my 3D sketch that connects my nodes. And I still have my base sketch. However, in this one, we're going to go and we're going to create a curve through reference points. And I'm going to select my reference points here. Actually, I want this one this one and this one. Notice that my, my preview, this curve up here, so this complicated curve that I might not be able to get through other different techniques. Hit the green check to accept. Now I need to create a sweep. New in 2016, we can easily create a circular profile sweep by going to sweep boss base and selecting the circular profile option. Notice that I can change the diameter here. I'm going to change this to 50 millimeters. And for the path, I'm going to select this curve that I created through space. And in my preview, the curve appears. Hit the green check. And I'm going to open up my display manager and hide my defining sketches. And now notice I have this complicated looking curve sweep and I cr cr that I could really only create through the 3D grid. Once again, my name is Jacob Bakoski. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Go Engineers 3D Grids. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.